All right, I'm stepping in here and just uh, shooting some more video of the progress. This morning we didn't have really any lines on, but now we have the uh, high and low pressure lines on and crimped. And what those will do, will, they'll run into the, the pump that we showed earlier. Now we have the pump in, the belt on, the uh, pulley is aligned, the hoses are going to it, and uh, you can see that we also we also have the uh, air cleaner on and relocated, uh, spaced away from the head. It looks great. It looks very, very factory. Nice job on that. Here's the here's the extra bracket we made. Here's the bolting of that bracket, and then we are allowed to keep the stock carburetor uh, or the stock air cleaner, which all goes on. So maybe hard to tell from the video and. But if you know what you're looking at here, as I pointed out, these type things, air cleaner and these brackets that go onto the head, looks real good. So you'd be hard pressed to tell that we uh, really did anything other than just shift this over and put that pump in there. Also, um, yet to go on is that universal joint, which is down in there. So progress is being made. Put the alternator and bracket on something on the other side. Oh, right. He just pointed out. Oh, yes. We have uh, relocated the alternator. That was one thing I didn't point out. The alternator was actually down below the power steering pump there, and it has been relocated to the opposite side of the engine, more like a 2F engine. Again, this is an F engine. So this alternator is now over here on the right-hand side of the engine, and we, rewire, or we will rewire it over here. We have the belt on, so the alternator will still function. It's just that it's on the other side of the engine now. I, I was remiss to not uh, point that out in my very first uh, video. So, But again, it, it looks very factory-ish because we're using factory brackets, swivels, alt, you know, we're using the factory alternator. So that looks very nice. 